Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Tiago <clears throat> Moises versus Mitch Ramirez. You may remember Rich Ramirez, or Mitch Ramirez from his fight against Carlos Prado. Not Prado, Pradas. 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 There it is. Got back on track again against the 5-0 and guy, which is stupid, but whatever. Tiago Moises, 17-7, 2-3 in his last five fights. Mitch Ramirez, 8-1, 4 and one in his last five fights. Like I said... Lost his last one. Basically, it was like a walk-off knockout, too, in the Contender Series. 28 years old against 31, Mitch Ramirez. 5'9", uh, <clears throat> with 5'11", 2 inches in height. 70 and a half inch reach to a 71 inch reach. Half inch reach advantage for Mitch Ramirez. You know, I, I like Tiago Moises. You know, he he didn't look good against Benoit, Benoit St. Denis. But... Um, he did have moments, and he kind of showed the, a little bit of a blueprint how to, um, like Dustin Poirier. Dustin Poirier fought Benoit Saint Denis last night, and I talked about the dirty boxing in close against the cage. Poirier could have a lot of opportunities. He brought up in his post fight uh, in the backstage in the UFC when he was doing an interview that when he fought Tiago Moises. Uh, when Tiago was against the cage and Benoit would go go get close to him, he would throw these big hooks and leave his chin right open. I remember when I watched the fight live while being on live talking to you guys, that I was like, you can't do that against really, really good boxers. You know? And something that, uh, again, Poirier was able to capitalize on that. He has the technical ability and the power, of course, to shut Benoit down that Tiago Moises doesn't have you know Benoit St. Denis not a bad loss did get finished obviously as we know had two wins before that against Maquesa Costa rear naked choke we know how good uh, uh, um, of a win that is yeah and then he beat Christos Yagos by rear naked choke as well so two that's two rear, rear naked choke wins in a row he had and then he lost to Joel Alvarez Big, big loss. Joel Alvarez is a very, very good striker. His takedown defense is dog shit, though. Um, before, and then before that, he fought Islam Makachev and got absolutely manhandled in that fight. So, again, not a crazy loss. I, I would say the worst loss in there is the Joel Alvarez fight, but it's still not a crazy, you know, oh, who is that opponent type guy. And Mitch, you know, he showed that his, his boxing defense, his striking defense isn't great. Thankfully, I guess for him, he doesn't necessarily have to worry about that. Tiago Moises, not really a striker. He will strike a little bit. I like Moises in this. The only thing that kind of turns me off on picking Moises is that Mitch Ramirez isn't great, but at 28 years old, have we just seen the best of Tiago Moises? He's only 28 years old. He'll be 29, but 17 and 7, a lot of experience in the UFC. I like Tiago Moises in this one. I think he wins it just because of the fact I don't trust the defense on Ramirez. He didn't look good in the uh, Car uh, Carlo Carlos Prada Prada Jesus Carlos Pradas fight. Didn't look great in that one. You know, his other fights are weird because he's not fighting really anybody. So Tiago Moises will be your winner. As always, subscribe, like, comment, and let me know who you're picking. Peace.